Hello, America. This is your president, Reverend, Dr. Champ Vinci, Nicholas Lee Sutton. And I'm coming to you on this beautiful Tuesday morning. Uh, I just want to sing, put some passion in you and let you know that as your president, what I'm going to do. And what's on my heart is I hear this. I've listened to so many thousands and thousands of sermons because I love studying uh, the God that created this universe, the God that created us, uh, the, the Savior that came down and saved us from all of our sins. He went away. He sent a ghost inside of us. Boo! Boo! to all you that forget about the ghost. Boo! Because our ghost says yes. It says double up, two thumbs up. I can't get them both here. Two thumbs up. Hey, I want to give a special shout out before I go any farther to a young man I've seen out there that's really, really working hard. He's trying to be a father. Nobody's out there helping him. His name's Danny Forte. And that dude called me yesterday with a baby and all sorts of other stuff that, that he has to deal with right now to see if he can hold my phone for me because he supports me. So, Danny, I support you and I love you, buddy. Um, and, and let's go ahead and go into a prayer before I tell you what I want to do. So, dear Heavenly Father, allow allow this moment and allow the pains of our past and the pains that we see today and 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 the fears that just uh, spew out of, out, out of today's leaders' mouths, whether it be pastors, teachers, business people, farmers, uh, government, everybody. We are in this witchcraft of a world right now, God, where all we're doing is labeling each other. And please let them remember that it, you are a mathematical God, so that a vocabulary term of evil upon one of us will not work and will not heal and is not your it's not your calling for us. So, Lord, let's take it to Scripture right now before we finish this prayer. Romans 14, 8. And so, the church keeps going back and forth about the rules. Yes, you can. No, you can. Yes, you can. No, you can. You know what that's called? Losing. All right? It's already in here. And if you've already taken the class, you should know we are righteous. If you don't know this, then please go to Free Chapel, Gainesville. Go to the next steps afterwards. Um, at first, first Sunday every month. And then get into the School of Discipleship. And you will learn there we walk righteously. And so the, these sounds of things are people are putting in here. So Romans 14, 8. So this is the solution to all of y'all's arguments right here. Owe no one anything except to love one another. For he who loves another has fulfilled the law. So if you're using words that hurts people's feelings, you are not fulfilling the law. I don't care if you got a cross on your chest, a pulpit in front of you, the American flag beside you, or a, or a, 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 a you know, a, a, a Calvin and Hobbes peeing on a liberal with a gun and a shotgun or something. It doesn't matter. Or if you're just a whiner about everybody else, then, then that doesn't matter either. You are not fulfilling the law because you are not loving your friend. If you're cutting down the president, you're not loving him. If you're the president cutting down these people, you're not loving him. All right? So you sh here's for the commandments. Here's your commandments in the New Testament. You shall not commit adultery. How many of you Christians out there in the mix of that or have been at some point? Which God says that uh, even the thought of another woman does that. So that leaves 100% of us guilty. All of us. Of the first one, it says, you shall not commit adultery. How many times you looked at a dude or a chick and been like, mm, yeah, baby. Yeah, adulterer, 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 adulterer. Nope. No, you're not. I love you. You're forgiven. Jesus came, remember? Nope. I love you. You're still my brother. Chin up. Let's make good decisions. Let's see what we can do together. You know, if it's in the bounds of good and in health, let's do it. Here we go. The other ones are, you shall not murder. How many people are you murdering with your words? How many soul, how, how many uh, uh, people's confidence have you ruined by calling them a name? And just continue to do it. I hope these messages go so viral that everybody starts this message. Love me. Don't hate me. The more you hate me, the more the more the devil can take me. Nutbags. You shall not steal. You shall not steal my joy. You shall not steal my smile. You shall not steal that little kid's privacy. Keep your hands off the kids. You want to know what half the problems are? You! You touch the kids. Stop! I don't care. I will fight for them and I will fight for you. And I love you, and that's why I don't want you to do that, because they don't need the guilt and shame on them, and you don't need it on you. So it's not just about them, and I'm not pointing just at you. Let's love one another. Pat them on the back. Hold their hands. Take them to church. 
You shall not covet. Hmm, that happy man over there. Let's keep an eye on him. That's coveting. All right, if you want to come talk to me, follow me, you know, help me, whatever it is. I'm a loving cat, man. But don't covet me and just sit there and look and not come do nothing. Ah! You shall love your neighbor as yourself. You know what? I don't think I want to live by most of you because y'all be hateful. Y'all be loving me like you love yourself. You hate yourselves. That's BS, man. That's because you're believing the lies of the past, the old wide skins. Them old wise kids be down to you ain't no good. I'm an old wise kid. And the young people be like, yo, it's good, man. We just want to travel and help people. Bunch of trophy kids. Now, I love y'all. We going somewhere. Watch this. All right. Love does not haunt, does no, no. That means zero. In mathematic terms, that means zero. None. Does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. Do you love me now? I love you now. Thanks for listening. I do this because I love you guys. There's some things that, it's not the people. People are going to think this is between them and I. And some people are going to mock me. Some people are going to be like, he's a brain doctor? Yeah, that's why I can understand the whole Bible and you can't. Because my brain works. And I don't really like that voice, so I'm going to go back to being tender. And I love you. Um... But guys, hey, these are my dreams. Uh, if you like me, get behind me. If you don't, something's wrong. Because I'm speaking the truth and it's loving. It loves everyone. And I, President, Reverend, Doctor, Champ, Vinci, Nicholas Lee Sutton, am fulfilling the law by loving you. Have a wonderful day. I believe in all of you. Let go of those terrible labels and rise up, America.